this is kind of my rough map of consciousness, right? In terms of the psychoanalytic view or the modern psychoanalytic view. So here we see like a big iceberg. This is what this is supposed to be is a big iceberg. And on the bottom here, that's all the unconscious, right? And the unconscious is things that are out of our awareness. Okay. Then um, you see, and, and the reason I have id and ego and superego in there is because that is part of Freud's theory. And it kind of is all wrapped up with these, this theory of consciousness that Freud was a believer in. So here is the, um, the unconscious, which also is what is called the id. And that's where your feelings are. It's like, that's where your, um, your automatic responses are the, uh, being hungry, being tired. Okay. When those things come up, you know, like a baby will cry and that's how they get your attention. That's part of the id. That's the feeling state but it's also part of your unconscious. So your feelings are all wrapped up in there. Then you have um, the super ego and the super ego is, um, it's usually a parental judgmental situation. So you may have had a teacher that was, uh, made you feel ashamed of something or made you feel bad about something. And they said, well, that's a stupid thing to do. Um, or a parent, you know, but this isn't about parent bashing, by the way, I'm just using that as an example, because we all make mistakes, we all are learning, right? So that is the super ego, when you feel like somebody's pointing a finger at you, that is the judgment that's coming at you from their um, learned parental or um, generational input, okay? Then you have the pre-conscious or the ego and that is where you have a lot of your um things that you could focus on where your memories are stored so that's why you could you could bring up your memories of certain things and that's in a what we call a pre-conscious state right so you're you're aware of it you're somewhat aware of it and then you have the conscious, which is all things that you're aware of in your state, wherever you are. Okay. So we know that we're in a room. We know that I'm talking and there's the sun because the sun is in that place. And so we're very, um, understanding of the fact that, you know, it's like, I'm in this place right now. I'm talking to you. I'm conscious of this. I'm conscious of the fact that I have other people here.